Um, who cleaned up the, the monster attack the other night? And I wanted to make sure nobody kept any of that white powder from the, the, the crystals that exploded. I, I think it was done by magic. Uh, one of those, um, what do they call it? Uh, unseen servants? Because I kept see seeing the brooms moving across the ground a few times. Hey. It was. It was. Hear me? No, no, you're, you're cutting, like out. cutting out. Hmm. How's this? That seems fine. Better. Okay. Um, do you know whose servant it was? Uh, no. I, I guess we could, I could ask around. That's okay. Um, it's, it's probably not that important. I'm sure it probably got left behind in the dust. Yeah, from what I know, we, we can't go back there, right? You think those villagers right? hate us now? Yeah, we can't go back there. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I hope that vi th those villagers, they don't, they don't find it. Oh my god. I didn't even think about that. Tommy's just gonna... Think about that really hard while she eats her stew. <laughs> and she's gonna feel really guilty. For n no reason, because obviously it's not her fault. But sh it, she's still gonna think it's her fault. Give me Aww. an intelligence check, please, Selmy. An intelligence check. Uh, oh, straight intelligence. Okay. Yeah. The the priestess <laughs> mentioned that well she never that the, the samples that she'd seen that had been described to her uh were like red and blue in color, vibrant. Uh th th the sample that you have is kind of this gray dust. Um it kind of like collapsed and seemingly just you know disintegrated into dust after the creature disappeared. Uh you haven't tested to see if it's active or not, or if it can actually be used as a drug in this shape, or if it went inert and some other process is required. Like, for example, she did mention something like whatever you have might be unrefined, and that's why it's not mm, some yeah. kind of color. Whatever okay, so I'm just going to go to her alchemy set, and I, I, she's, she's going to throw the suit out and be like, thanks, Grace, and she's going to run to her alchemy set. Okay, you get an advantage. I don't know where that is, on, but. Yeah, you get advantage on use of alchemy on, on your sheet. Uh, and I believe that intelligence is used for that. But whatever it is, you get advantage with it. Cool. Um, how do I roll that? Just straight intelligence again? Uh, it should, oh, shoot. It should be tools I didn't mean that, that one. are marked uh, intelligence. I'm oh, sorry, not, sorry. Tools on the side that should be marked, like, uh, uh, alchemy kit. Hold on, let me look at your sheet. Uh, yeah, it's under tool proficiencies and custom skills. There's an alchemy kit. It's a queried, and you queried under intelligence, and you get the advantage. Let me supplies. Okay, so attribute intelligence submit. Yeah. Ah. And nothing seems to happen. You don't know if you did it wrong or if it's just inert. But you've unfortunately mm. used up your sample. Well, uh, shit. <laughs> well, Tommy's gonna smoke some power flower and think about that for a while. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Donko, what are you what are you doing now that you've uh, your companions have, have rejoined you? I 
will start showing off and doing some flips and acrobat stuff. All right, give me a performance or an acrobatics check. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, you whatever's going on, some sort of something that's making you off this <laughs> evening. I guess I'm mad that they uh, went to the city without me. <laughs> or something. Yeah, Mark. It could also be the strange hey, quick, what was... watching you. Yeah, so something's going on. I'm just off my game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, who's the who was the NBC who came to to ask me about my conversation with the dwarves? That'd be Grace. She's up she's up there with the you know, with the stew pot and everything. She's been working on dinner. Oh, oh, I thought it was a... Okay. I thought it was a different I NPC thought it was that the was kobold. talking to me. Well, the... the no, no, the, you, you walked up to the kobold and said you were going to talk to Pickles, and so I had Pickles come and join as well, because Pickles is the goblin. Okay. So they're just... Standing Grace is the one who specifically asked. Okay. Okay. What's this thing next to me? The Kenku? That's They're, blank? Yeah, I was about to say. Oh, blank. Okay. The two guys are standing inside by guy players. Actually, we don't know what blank is in terms of gender. That's true. Uh, Viagra to find blank out. is canonically genderless, and none of you have been <laughs> brave enough to find out. <laughs> eh. <laughs> I just assume you're part of the Cloaca Club, and leave it at that. Cloaca Club. <laughs> well, you don't great. know. I could have a jack in the box down there, and you don't know. <laughs> that you be quite the right. I'm at <laughs> Well, you are standing next to a flasher gnome. That's fair. Did we turn well, into a We know what he has at this point. What's happening? <laughs> Uh, apparently, Zach's character has a jack in the box out on their crotch. What is uh, no, it, the point is, I could, <laughs> and you don't know. I'm the anti jorsal <laughs> He's Fair. upset that don't nobody's looking. I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> it's all feathery anyway. This is making the character sound more attractive. <laughs> Uh, so, the gnome was trying to get us to steal shit. Yeah. Is is he still doing that, or is he just watching the show, or just like standing there awkwardly as an intruder in the camp? Uh, so I I do want to recruit y'all to come do a job for me. Uh, I was gonna wait to actually go on the job until after your show tomorrow. So for right now, what I want to do is kind of just be helpful in any way that I can around the camp um, and kind of just be as innocuous as possible. Well, nothing's as innocuous as a flasher gnome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that at the moment. For later. Picture we... says otherwise. Yeah. For the late time activities. <laughs> God. <laughs> Maybe well, I'm I trying guess... to compare trying to compare notes with blank. <laughs> Here's the blank. I guess uh... blank. These girls. Which ones which ones are easy? Like <laughs> <laughs> Blank, this is what I've got. What do you got? <laughs> Yeah, you with any of them? What's up with the bear with no hair? That's a story, dude, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just standing there like, what is up with these people? <laughs> Bubbles is going to get dinner. She hasn't felt like eating much lately because she's she's been upset. So she's going to go get food. Um, Grace smiles warmly at you and offers you a bowl of stew. Hey, Bubbles, how you feeling? So much better. Did you notice my face is back? Yeah. 
It's really nice. You can touch it. It's so smooth now. She, she reaches out a hand um, to, to gently touch your scaled face. Oh, it's so nice, right? I'm so happy. I'm going to sit down and eat. Well, I, I'm happy for you. I like he has no boundaries. Like, we just, like, <laughs> word. Look, everybody is supposed to appreciate how beautiful she is. That's, like, her main thing, so. Love it. I think it's great. <laughs> Zero boundaries. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, she didn't, like, grab her hand and force her to touch it. She said she could touch it, okay? I'm just sorry. Like, <laughs> it's great. Like, you know, absolutely no hesitancy about our bodies. We're like, fuck yeah, we're sexy bitches. You should appreciate yep. it. We're like, I appreciate it. Hell that. yeah. <laughs> Even blank. He's like, I'm a sexy silent bitch. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, Bubbles is almost pathologically body positive. We are about herself. We are. We are some confident yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> it's less than blank is body positive more than he's just positive. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just thought that was like really nice of our part. <laughs> it's very hard to body shame someone when you can't actually speak. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, you can make some really ugly gestures. Yeah. That's what I was about yeah. to say. True, but blank saves those worse special people. Nice. <laughs> and special people? Very special people. So is it is it bedtime? Or are we supposed to just sleep until sure. tomorrow? Or that's up to you guys. Did, did we do well, our show? Did we get paid for it? Uh, there's no show today. The show's not until tomorrow. Oh, all right. Well, trying to think, what would Flex do? And, and you don't get well, actually, paid, and you don't get paid for individual shows except for maybe tips, or if you're on the tip circuit. Uh, you oh. t tend to get paid for the uh, the whole month. Uh, oh, oh, we're on a monthly pay scale. Those are the worst. Well, they're basically, like you know, you get paid for main stops. So yeah, monthly pay scales basically. Okay, all right. Well, that's okay. I mean, they I'm gonna I'm gonna um tell Grace that uh Flex has adopted a gnome, and um. I can't really decide if he's shifty or not, but um, he came back with us, and that's a little weird. So, like, feed him or don't, but just be aware that uh, Flex is probably going to try to, like, put him under his pillow and keep him with us, so... Uh, okay. After the no, nice things I said about your face... <laughs> <laughs> is, is he, is he Again, drunk? you can't hear me! Oh, that's no, good. but... <laughs> Is he joining the circus? Does he have a talent? Have you told the sisters? Uh, no, he didn't say anything. He just like he followed us back like a puppy, and you know, flex. And, and he's not a kid. You think right? I? I mean, every once in a while, kids try to run away with the circus. No, no, definitely, definitely a gnome. There's a beard. Um, well, I meant a gnome I, child. Gnome children exist, you know. <laughs> but do they have beards? Maybe they do. Uh, you know what? Okay. I don't do you know. think? Do you think I should tell the sisters? I I, I don't want to like cause a stir. I mean, he was really respectful. He you know he complimented my my new my fixed face. I just I just think it's a little weird that well, that he's you know hanging out here at night and and he he mentioned a dupe like he might be important, he might be connected. We had that trouble with the mare. Um, Mark, a new puppy? Jesus. I just want a new puppy. Damn it. <laughs> or no. Gnome <laughs> puppy? No puppy! Got a narc. Oh, Why that's kind of thing. <laughs> narc bubble. <laughs> <laughs> well, Again, well, A, she's going to multi-class as a paladin, which is the definition of narc. And ah. B, <laughs> uh, <laughs> again, you can't hear her. <laughs> but you're gonna have a paladin and a drug dealer in your party. 
Yeah, it's it's cool. consensual. That smells like it's cool. consensual. It's not illegal. <laughs> like people can <laughs> feel good. The gods are cool with that. I feel like she's gonna hate the mime just on principle. Like I feel like every goody goody <laughs> I've ever met just hates a mime. Like why would you I mean talk? everybody hates a mime just yeah. generally? She's cool with flex. Um, she's just a little, you know, she's. she's it's just weird. No, have a gnome follow you home, and you know, like circuses are tight knit. Circuses are are like a tight knit community. They don't they don't like outsiders, and they don't well, just yeah, you know I, have I know. random people I, join the camp. So I mean, I I've only been here for two months. It's not like I've I mean I'm still pretty new here. I mean, you guys have been yeah, but nice you were like officially hired, right? <laughs> you didn't just show up one day and start cooking food, right? The sisters pay you. Uh, yeah, I could pay. <laughs> this is awkward. 